This is Klaus Oldenburg, born in Stockholm, Sweden on January 28, 1929. Peculiar man who is best known for his public art installations, typically featuring large replicas of everyday objects. Most notably his binocular entrance to the Chiat building, which was created for an advertising company of the same name, Chiat, located in Venice, California. Construction for the building began in 1985 and took about 16 years before it was declared complete in 2001. This piece is more than just for show. The binoculars serve a weird purpose. They are actually the entrance to an underground parking garage designed to accommodate the former employees of Chiat Day, the advertising company I mentioned before. The entrance is composed of two cylinders connected by a bracket consisting of yet another set of two smaller cylinders. The building is scaled up to an extraordinary extent, and if you plan to visit California anytime soon, I'm sure it'll make for quite a story. I was shocked when I couldn't find any pictures from the inside of the building, but at the very least this one shows you just a glimpse of the inside. Notice the ramp going down into the parking garage. The building is considered to be pop culture, since Oldenburg's art tends to influence young aspiring artists or, as I like to call them, hipsters. Klaus Oldenburg has always had a peculiar method of showing off his creativity to the public, like in this piece with the self-explanatory name, Spoonbridge and Cherry. Oldenburg's pictures captivated his audience simply by using his imagination for his installations. The placement for the dropped cone piece looks precarious, barely hanging on to the corner of the building. If curiosity gets the better of you and you want to see his art in person, then look no further because there is a piece called the Bat Column near downtown Chicago. The piece is located just outside the Harold Washington Social Security Administration building at 600 West Madison Street. When Klaus was interviewed about his art, he was asked for his opinion on modern architecture. Klaus responded by saying that he's noticed that most architects and artists don't really look at their creations as art, but as currency. Klaus Oldenburg collaborated with many artists, but the one who stands out the most is his wife, Kuzje van Bruggen. The next few slides will be art pieces made by Klaus Oldenburg and Kuzje van Bruggen. Oldenburg attended two highly esteemed schools. He attended Yale University and the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. In 1959, Oldenburg presented his art which included three-dimensional works at the Judson Gallery on Washington Square. In 1970, Oldenburg and his second wife, Kuzje van Bruggen, met after his first art piece made it to a museum in Amsterdam where van Bruggen was a curator. Klaus and Van Bruggen were married for 32 years until Van Bruggen passed away from breast cancer in 2009.
And now, Kevin's personal artwork. The picture shows a young man in a bathtub reading a manga, which is a Japanese comic book. But it looks like that's where he gets his sleep. My inspiration for this was by looking through Oldenburg's pieces and noticing the strange placement of objects. My favorite quote, not everything is as it seems, comes to mind. Klaus Oldenburg is an eccentric man who has shown a certain perspective that I didn't really expect to find anywhere else. His artwork has unorthodox placement and is just plain weird, which is something I admire in an artist. <laughs>